Imagine a world even more suited to life than Earth, a world where conditions are so favorable that life might not just survive, but thrive. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, this is no longer science fiction. The telescope has uncovered a planet that could potentially outshine Earth in its ability to support life. But what is this mysterious place? And could it be the answer to one of humanity's oldest questions? Are we alone in the universe? Enter Gliese 581G, an exoplanet located about 20 light years away in the Libra constellation. This planet orbits its star in what scientists call the Goldilocks Zone, a region where conditions are just right for liquid water to exist, making it a prime candidate for hosting life. Discovered through the powerful lens of the James Webb Space Telescope, Gliese 581G might not only be habitable, but could potentially be more suited for life than Earth. So, what makes this planet so special? Why is it capturing the attention of astronomers and astrobiologists around the world? The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is a marvel of modern technology designed to peer deep into space and uncover secrets of the universe. Unlike its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, JWST operates primarily in the infrared spectrum. This gives it the ability to see through cosmic dust clouds and study distant planets in unprecedented detail. And what did it see when it looked at Gliese 581G? It found some pretty exciting clues. Clues that hint at the possibility of life. One of the most exciting discoveries made by the James Webb Telescope is the atmospheric composition of Gliese 581G. The telescope detected the presence of carbon dioxide, water vapor, and methane, three key ingredients that could indicate the presence of life, or at least the right conditions for it. Now, before you jump to conclusions, let's be clear. These gases don't automatically mean there's life on Gliese 581G. Methane, for example, can be produced by both biological and non-biological processes. However, on Earth, a large portion of methane in the atmosphere is produced by living organisms which makes this discovery particularly intriguing. What sets Gliese 581G apart from many other exoplanets is its size and the nature of its orbit. Classified as a super-Earth, Gliese 581G is larger than our planet, but smaller than gas giants like Neptune. This means that it could have a solid surface, which is essential for any Earth-like life to develop. Its orbit is another point of interest. Gliese 581G orbits its parent star in just 37 days. But because its star is much cooler and dimmer than our sun, this doesn't mean it's scorching hot. In fact, the temperatures on Gliese 581G are estimated to range between minus 31 degrees Celsius and 10 degrees Celsius, conditions that could support liquid water. And where there's water, there could be life. But here's where things get even more interesting. Gliese 581G may not be Earth-like in every way, but that doesn't mean it can't support life. In fact, life on Earth itself has shown us that organisms can survive in extreme conditions places where we once thought life was impossible. So, what if Gliese 581G is home to its own kind of extremophiles? Life that thrives in high levels of methane or can endure colder temperatures. It's entirely possible that life there could be unlike anything we've seen before. Let's take a closer look at methane, the gas that's raising so many eyebrows in the scientific community. Methane is an organic molecule, and its presence in Gliese 581 GS atmosphere is a potential biosignature, a sign that life, or at least biological processes, may be happening on the planet, on Earth. Most of the methane in our atmosphere comes from biological sources, such as cows digesting food or microbes in swamps breaking down organic material. However, methane can also be produced through geological processes like volcanic activity. The question now is, what is producing methane on Gliese 581G? Is it life or is it geology? One way scientists are trying to answer this question is by looking at the ratio of methane to other gases, such as carbon dioxide. On Earth, biological processes tend to produce more methane than carbon dioxide, while geological processes result in more carbon dioxide than methane. If the methane levels on Gliese 581G are disproportionately high, it could be a sign that life is at work. 
How do we know what gases are in the atmosphere of a planet 20 light years away? The answer lies in a technique called spectroscopy. When light from a star passes through a planet's atmosphere, the gases in the atmosphere absorb certain wavelengths of light, creating a unique fingerprint. By analyzing these fingerprints, scientists can determine which gases are present. The James Webb Telescope is equipped with incredibly advanced spectroscopic tools that allow it to analyze the atmospheres of distant planets in greater detail than ever before. This is how it was able to detect methane, water vapor, and carbon dioxide on Gliese 581G. But detecting these gases is just the first step. To determine whether they're being produced by life, scientists will need to gather more data. Fortunately, the James Webb Telescope is just getting started, and future observations of Gliese 581G could provide the answers we're looking for. So, what if we do find life on Gliese 581G? What would that mean for humanity? First and foremost, it would mean that we are not alone in the universe, a discovery that would fundamentally change our understanding of life, the universe, and our place in it. It would also raise new questions about the nature of life. Would the life forms on Gliese 581G be similar to those on Earth? Or would they be completely alien? And what if the planet is even more habitable than Earth? Could it one day become a destination for human colonization? Imagine a future where humanity spreads out across the stars, with Gliese 581G as our first stop. While we're still far from sending humans to Gliese 581G, the discovery of such a promising exoplanet opens up exciting possibilities for the future of space exploration. As technology continues to advance, we may one day be able to send robotic probes to Gliese 581G, or even develop faster than light travel to reach distant worlds within a human lifetime. For now, we can only dream of what it would be like to stand on the surface of Gliese 581G, gazing up at its star and wondering what kind of life, if any, might be lurking just out of sight. So, what's next for the James Webb Telescope? The discovery of Gliese 581G is just one of many exciting findings that the James Webb Telescope has made since its launch. With its unprecedented ability to study the atmospheres of distant planets, the telescope is poised to revolutionize our understanding of the universe. In the coming years, the James Webb Telescope will continue to scan the skies, searching for more planets like Gliese 581G. Who knows? Maybe the next big discovery will be even more Earth-like, or perhaps even inhabited. So, the next time you look up at the night sky, remember that out there, 20 light years away, there might be a planet better suited for life than Earth. And thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, we're one step closer to finding out.